Hey, I'm with Kate. How are you doing? Well, I, um, I'm having my first album called The Golden Edge. It's going to be released by uh, September uh, 2012. Um, it's a very epic piece um, that we recorded with the Paris National Orchestra. Um, it's, um, it's the continuity of Iron, um, the first single that I released um, in March in 2011. And um, it's, um, it's very dramatic and uh, piece that's inspired by religion and army um, and that talks about the transition between the, the, the childhood and the adult age, basically. Well, I've always been very inspired by music in general, that's why I ended up being a music video director. And later I would, I would be very inspired by tribal percussions and um, military percussions and of course religious music. My mom used to, to listen to a lot of Stabat Matters from Vivaldi and um, I've always been inside um, this very religious education and um, it's, um, it's something that really like, is inside of me I would say. Um, so the album really reflects that. It's, it's really about religion army and it's also um, about about yeah this this moment that I live right now where I'm becoming a, becoming an adult really and I, I just wanted to talk about this and transform it into an heroic fantasy world somehow. Um, I've been very inspired by um, the world of heroic fantasy actually, video games and um, I wanted to translate that into the fashion world somehow. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just mixing this code from um, very uh, geeky um, video games, um, um, heroic fantasy movies like The Lord of the Rings and things like that, and trying to translate it into a more minimalistic uh, environment. So it, it goes in the image, but also in the sound. It's, it's how I'm trying to build this this album. Well, I think that. I, I, I never say I'm into fashion. I'm into clothing, basically. I like I like that clothing is is a way to transform your body and change the appearance and the, the translation of your body into the other's eyes. Um, and I'm trying to. I was very interested in uh, in, the, in this transition from the childhood to the adult age. I was talking about. I was interested in um, translating into the clothing like an armor, almost like your. Um, you're building a character and you're having this clothes in you so you change your appearance and you create your own character as an adult. So I think it made sense for me that it has a connection with fashion in a way that fashion is about transforming your body and transforming the, your character basically. Um, so I'm very interested in this and I've always been very close to people like Diane Pernay or um, people from the fashion world, John Charles de Castellaja, Christian Lacroix is a good friend too. Um, I, I, I belong to this world in a way that I love the craft of making clothes. Um, I'm not at all into the fashion world, it's not really nice thing, but I do like the clothing. I, I basically do everything by myself because I um, have been going through a lot of artistic projects, I've been working with a lot of people from um, Drake, Katy Perry to uh, Rihanna and all the all big people, but each time I was doing these amazing projects, I had the frustration that it was not my music. So I thought it was a good idea to create my own project so I could um, basically create a project that was completely me. Um, so Woodkey was born. But I'm doing the songs basically myself and I compose them. And then uh, my producer Guillaume from The Shoes is a um, Takes it and makes it bigger than life. Basically, it just enhances the sound, makes it very powerful. Um, it, it really has. I mean, I'm basically a producer, but he's a co-producer in, in a way that he just makes it stronger, and it just, um, it just, yeah, it enhances my visions. Um, and so, yeah, it's, we work together a lot. And then Julian Delfo uh, from Paris is just mixing the album and making it like the sound very like perfect. Um, but yeah, basically I write and compose all my songs. I'm very inspired by the mainstream industry because it's, uh, it's what people like in general, so it's, it has to be respected. I wouldn't say I'm fascinated, it just interests me in a way that it's, it's, it's almost like voting, it's what most people like. So in a way that you have to respect that because it's, it's what people are asking for. Um, 
and as an artist you always want to trust the public. Um, but also I think there is a way to educate people. So that's why my music is, is it's basically pop songs, it's really mainstream songs which people don't really notice but the construction of it and the structure of it is very mainstream, it's, it's just pop music, um, especially this single that I sang just today. Um, but, um, I, I do it in a way that it sounds, the production sounds more indie um, and I'm trying to uh, yeah, bring sounds that are different than what people used, used to hear basically but also try to make something that seems familiar to people so that's why the, the chords are really um, simple and very accessible and, and the way the melodies are put on these chords is very straightforward um, so yeah, and I'm mixing this with this very heavy tribal military percussions and sounds. My album will be released hopefully by September. Uh, it's almost done, but we're releasing a new single in April called Run Boy Run. Doing a tour in um, Eastern Europe. I think I'm going in Germany actually in May. Uh, then I have a little break, and then I'll start again touring in um, in August or September for the release of the album and I'm going to be all over the world.